There's nothing up my sleeves. No wand, no abracadabra. But as returns on investments go, this one sure seems like magic. And you start by taking a dollar bill. You invest it in digitalization and hey presto, you return eight dollars. In fact, eight dollars thirty. I just don't have the coins on me to make up the numbers. But the maths is very real, even if the, the magic is pretty lame. And that eightfold increase from one dollar to eight dollars thirty as a return to the digital economy is the finding of Huawei's Global Digitalization Index, which measures the digital maturity of 77 countries and the impact the digital transformation has. All of which is welcome news to the likes of Boca Bar. He's a member of the Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development and the CEO of the Samina Telecommunications Council. Thank you for joining us, Boca Bar. My pleasure. We now have this global digitalization index. What do you think is the key benefit of developing that index? Now, when it comes to the GDI, it's not just a benchmark tool. It's much more than that. It's a roadmap that will lead us to the achievement of digital transformation. That roadmap is based on four pillars. First of all is connectivity. Without connectivity, there is nothing. Mm. So we have to ensure that everyone, everything, and we are connected everywhere. That's the idea to, to have the infrastructure to support the development. Number two, to have a meaningful, relevant digital platform. We have to convince population, citizen, that there is a benefit to be connected. So relevance and being meaningful. Number three, green. We have to use green technology. And uh, number four, good governance, the right policies that will not destroy value creation, agile regulatory framework. So basically, the GDI is an extremely important tool which gives us visibility and predictability about the future. A $1 investment in digital transformation gives you an, a sort of $8.30 roughly return to a digital economy. Do you think that fact is widely enough understood and appreciated? It's understood, but I think the problem is on our side. We are talking to ourselves as an industry mm -hmm. and uh, we need to spread the gospel. My recommendation is advocacy, advocacy, advocacy. Now to whom? To government, mm -hmm. our leaders, to the industry at large, have the support of the academia, and of course, when we talk about public-private partnership, we forget the people, public-private people partnership. So we also have to educate. So the first recommendation and measure that has to be undertaken by the uh, stakeholders is also to include the population education about digital development, about connectivity, about the, this index. So we have a cohesive approach across the entire value chain. Advocacy, advocacy, advocacy to policymakers, but what is the action you actually want them to take? What is it we want to prompt them to do? It's a very good question. Number one, reaction. When we hear the findings, we need a reaction from the leaders. Mm -hmm. What for? For leading the way to that digital transformation. We need policymakers, regulators, government at large to champion this approach. Championing means sense of urgency, reactivity, to have digital economy on the agenda, on a fast track mode, because what we want to achieve is to leave no one behind. And uh, we are fighting with so many gaps today. Number two, the demand stimulation. We have to ensure that our elders, youth, others, people living in the remote area, connectivity has to be meaningful for them. They have to feel that they can enjoy the benefits of this uh, digital development. Therefore, to champion the approach, to stimulate the demand, and it goes by putting more effort and investment into human capital. At the end of the day, innovation is generated by the youth, creativity, 
So we need, if you want to leave no one behind, to have people educated. Literacy in so many developing countries, literacy, meaningful application, local development, uh, foster the talent. So government has a very important role to play. Well, another important thing, and you talked about it earlier on, is sustainability, of course. What is the role of the private sector, companies such as Huawei, in ensuring that the digital transformation is not just digital, but sustainable as well? Huawei has played an extremely important role with regard to the question that you are asking. Huawei has demonstrated that they are an important player in this industry. Huawei is providing a roadmap, is providing a visibility in terms of research and development, and how today the private sector can benefit, how government can benefit, and population. It's very important for the private sector who is investing mm -hmm. in digital development. We need to think about the use of those uh, profits. It's usually reinvested into R&D so we can ensure sustainability on a long-term basis for these uh, technologies. Well, the digital transformation continues apace. Thank you very much for joining us and thank you for all the work that you're doing to make that an accelerated transformation and, as you said earlier, universal as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you.